Are you interested in cancer research and you want to know how to become a cancer researcher? Do you want to become a scientist in the field of cancer biology and you have no idea how to start with? So, me Diksha, I'm here to help you in that sort. I'm from Biotechnica and today we shall be discussing about the tips and tricks how you can pursue your uh, interest and research in cancer biology as well as oncology. So before starting, I want to tell you something more Biotechnica. So we from Biotechnica are always there to help you with the opportunities, with the job opportunities and career advices that we give you through our newsletter as well as the YouTube platform. We're always here to help you regarding all the entrances examination that are uh, in the field of life sciences, the career advice is related to them, such as CSI, NetGate, and NEAT. So always stay tuned with us, subscribe our uh, channel, and then let's get started. So firstly, we shall be discussing about what is cancer research. So before starting about uh, talking about cancer research, I want to tell you something about uh, the, uh, the cancer and the researchers. Like I want to tell you that uh, it's very important for us to know about our motive of selecting a particular domain in biology before starting started uh, before starting our inquisitiveness about the research field that you want to pursue. So before you start thinking that you want to become a cancer researcher, you should keep in your mind what are the ideas that drove you to become a cancer researcher and what are the contributions you can make for the patients who are suffering from cancer and always and also for the uh, like the for the people who are at the higher risk of getting cancer. So your motivation should be the research that you will do the science that you will progress so that it can make a change for their lives. So it's very important for you to keep that in mind and then we'll start with the topic and how you can start uh, the uh, pursuing cancer research the top 10 uh, tips and strategies where you can what you can follow so that you can pursue cancer research in future so the first point that i'm going to discuss is you should know about cancer so the first strategy the first step that you should take before becoming a cancer researcher to so as to, uh, in order to make your career in the field of cancer biology is to know about cancer so the basic thing is that you should know about cancer you shouldn't be driven by driven by other people who are working on cancer and that's why you want to work, want to work on cancer your close friend is working on cancer you're liking the work and that's why you want to work on cancer no always know about the basic of the research that you want to do and hence you should know about the basics of cancer what is cancer what uh, happens what is mutation what is driver mutation what is passenger mutation what exactly happens that leads to the formation of cancer what is the mechanism of tumor progression? What are the types of cancer? What is the prevalence of cancer? What is the most prevalent cancer in the world? What is the global count data? What are cancer stem cells? How it is different from the normal stem cells? What is immunology and cancer? How immunology or immune system will deal with cancer? And what happens to the immune system in the case of cancer progression? So these are the basic and important aspects that you should really understand because, because you have to work in the field of cancer. So the basic idea is really important. You should know all the basics of of cancer and you should actively contribute in the field of cancer then only you will be able to act actually actively contribute in the field of cancer so you should know about cancer the second point that is important discover your interest now since you have all the basics of cancer you know about cancer everything you are uh, well aware of you should discover your interest why so the first question that comes into your mind is why cancer why do you want to work in cancer where there are so many of interesting research topics in this world where you can work upon so discover your interest why only cancer why what will be your contribution if you want to become a cancer researcher why cancer then type of cancer you're interested to research since cancer is a very vast like if you study about cancer it's a very vast field there are a lot of cancers lot of aggressive cancers malignancies there there are a lot of things that are there so you should know what are the interest specifically if you want to become a researcher you should always follow a pattern and that should be what type of cancer you are interested in to pursue research obviously you can't work on the whole cancer you have to take what exactly you want to work on colon rectal cancer you want to work, you want to work on breast cancer you want to work on uh, prostate cancer you should know about it you should know about the worldwide statistics of cancer how it is affecting the people what is the data how it is every year progressing what is the uh, most prevalent cancer you should know about the worldwide statistics you should know about the details about the related advancement what all are the advanced that is happening in order to uh, cure the most prevalent cancers what are the research scopes of um 
the drug, the formulations, as well as the therapy, the chemotherapy, radiation therapy, the newer therapy, uh, therapeutic options that are coming in order to uh, treat different types of cancer. Then you should read research papers and review articles related to cancer types and their cure. You should always be inquisitive about the research that you are going to do. So you should always discover your interest. The third point that you have to do is get exposure to techniques. Now see, if you want to become a researcher, you should have hold, you should have a command and hold upon the hand skills also, upon the techniques also. So it's not always theory, it's about the practical skills also that you have to do in order to become a good researcher. So you have to get exposure to the techniques. So if you want to become a cancer researcher, you should know about the techniques that are there in the field, especially relevant to cancer biology. You should know about cell culture, which is very important because you will be dealing with many cell lines in vitro culture. You will be dealing with many cell lines that are uh, immortalized cell lines in the, like uh, like the uh, MCF7 in breast cancer or so HCK2. So you, you have to know about the many cell lines. Uh, uh, MD, MB231 for breast cancer. Uh, so these are the cell lines that you can uh, use for some cell lines for colon actor cancer. You should, know, know, you should be knowing about the basic uh, cell line as well as the non-malignant form also which you can uh, take for reference like a GK2 so you can you should know about all the cancers uh, cell lines you should know about how to maintain cells how what is maintaining the cell line what is maintaining cells what is passaging then you should know about the cell viability assay such as MTTSA which is very famous in the field of cancer bi bi biology where you will be dealing with cell bi viability assay what is IC50 value then NXN FITC staining nuclear staining so as to uh, check for apoptosis and these are the cell culture techniques and many other techniques are there many layers a lot of techniques i'm just giving you an example of some of them so you should know about these basic things at least you should know about why it is used in the field of cancer why we do uh, apoptosis uh, tests in the field of cancer in, in cancer biology why do we need to do uh, so these things should come in your mind then you should know about the techniques such as flow cytometry confocal microscopy western blot solid for this type of western blot and pcr techniques because these are the most um, like uh, most profound techniques that we people use in the field of uh, cancer biology such as <coughs> confocal microscopy they can use to visualize the stained cells western blood they can use to uh, find the apoptotic proteins or the proteins that are hallmarks for cancer pcr real-time pcr people do to check for the expression also flow cytometry they do for uh, nxn fitc cell cycle analysis so you should know about the techniques so the techniques knowing about the practical aspect as well as the theoretical aspect is very important now the next point is participate in projects that are related to cancer so as to contribute yourself in the field of cancer you should have exposure about the uh, cancer research and for that you can participate in short term or long term projects you can either you can either go for project positions like and uh, like becoming a project assistant or becoming a jrf or you can go for phd positions directly where you can work in the field of cancer biology getting a project in the field of cancer or if you are a phd and you want to switch to cancer you can go for a postdoc also but since this topic is to become a cancer researcher i'll be uh, talking about the basics i will be talking about the people who have done their graduation masters and want to go for cancer research you can go for project positions it will be always better because you will be getting experience if you're not getting phd or you are getting phd in cancer well and good you can go for phd positions in the field of cancer biology the next thing that you can do is interact with the professionals since you have less idea about cancer you want to grow you want to evolve and you want to interact with the uh, professionals who are working in the field of cancer so no, so as to know the uh, insights and the guidance you can always talk to your professors who are working in the field of cancer you can work to the, you can talk to the scientists you can mail the scientists top scientists or you can mail the scientists from any university in in India or abroad where you are liking the research work of those scientists you can mail them you can ask them for any collaboration any project position you can ask them you can appreciate their research work you can tell them you are interested in their research so you can do that you can talk to your seniors who are doing your their PhD or project positions or even your colleagues who are doing uh, any project position or any PhD position or even working in the top pharma companies that are related to uh, cancer biology so you have to interact with professionals because networking is important so as to understand the insights about any um, like technique any uh, field of science especially cancer biology now the next part that you have to do is 
do internships and certification courses you are always welcome to do internships and certification courses since you are having an idea about cancer biology now so you have to gain experience you have to show your skills in the field of cancer biology you can't just sit and say that i am having a lot of knowledge regarding cancer your uh, cv should speak that you are really interested in cancer for that you can do internship there are many internships by many uh, pharma companies also and there are online internships also there are certification co courses also by many uh, big universities like stanford harvard you can go there like uh, you can even go there if you get selected for any short term research program or online internship and certification courses are always available so you can do internship and certification courses for that sort you can always get your documents in that way so that your skills will speak that you are really interested in cancer so always try to add skills and experience in your cv so that you will be like people will see and the researchers who are hiring you or the like the scientist who want to work with you will always see your passion regarding the cancer biology especially if you want to work in this division you can attend workshop and conferences you can attend national symposium in the field of cancer you can it can be either online or offline you can if you are uh, you can if you can go and have a, like um, you can go offline and you can attend and it's very nice even you can attend online and always be inquisitive ask questions ask questions about why this why not this because these questions will ultimately Uh, lead to your passion and your uh, the listeners the viewers will also understand that you are really passionate about that and you don't know when your luck clicks and somebody will like might they might hire you this has happened many times so i'm always telling you wherever you go for workshop for conferences always try to ask question because what is going in your mind should be well expressed to the people around so that they can understand your passion and how much driven you are in the field of cancer biology the eighth point that you can do is keep update about the latest research in order to become a researcher you have to be always updated about the research that is happening in the field you should be always upgraded about the recent research and advancement and for that you can always follow you can follow the cancer research journals the top journals that are there in the field of cancer biology you can research you can follow nature cancer you can follow molecular cancer uh, cancer for clinicians you can follow any cancer research journals that are very very nice journals so you can follow cancer research journals and you can see the recent uh, papers that that are there you can buy access in subscription where they don't have any open access so you can buy access or subscription institutions uh, access you can go through that also so always try to be updated about the latest research in the field of cancer the next point that you can do is no best institutions now you have gained all the knowledge about cancer now you now you know the experience you have experience also regarding workshops you have experience regarding internships you have a skill such as certification courses you are well equipped with the techniques that are, that are in the field of cancer and you want to uh, go for a phd you want to go for a project position so you should know the places where you can apply that is really important for you because now you are well um, acquired with the knowledge now you, you should know how to uh, implement those knowledge so as to get the best out of it so for that uh, i'm i will be enlisting some of the institutions only in india and abroad so for further details you can go to google or you can ask me i can make a separate video also upon that so in india some of the most uh, famous cancer institutes are actrat tata memorial center in bombay then aims new delhi national institute of immunology again in new delhi uh, rgcb rajiv gandhi center for biotechnology trivandrum center for cellular and molecular biology hyderabad so there are some uh, good institutions in india with world class uh, laboratory facilities also and then in abroad you can go to harvard medical school always welcome uh, john hopkins university md anderson cancer center and in europe it's like german cancer center research center dkfz it's very famous so these are some of the abroad uh, universities and uh, institutions where you can go and pursue your cancer research now comes about the pharma companies since some of you want to go for institution some of you want to work in the field of cancer biology by working in the pharma companies that are associated with it so you can always go and search for the companies that are doing well in the field of oncology as well as cancer research so you can go for the companies you should have always have idea about the related companies the, where you can go and work. Work if you want to work in a pharma sector, so some of the companies um, worldwide are AstraZeneca, uh, Bristol, Roche, Merck, and then Novartis. Okay, so these are some of the very good companies that they they are classified as the top companies uh, who are actively uh, working in the field of oncology, in the field of therapeutics, in the for cancer biology. So these are the 
top 10 ticks, uh, tips that you can follow that you can literally follow so that so as to pursue your research in the field of cancer and if you start following step by step so this is an order you should start following step by step and so you should have idea about all these things so in order to pursue research in the field of cancer you should always progress stepwise and these are the top 10 tips and uh, steps which i uh, suggest you so that you can build your career in the field of cancer thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt anything please mention in the comment box below thank you so much